Hello, I'm Lucas, and uh, in this video I'll be speaking about my journey through the Capstone product. Uh, what does a day in the life of a photographer look like? Which also includes a walkthrough of how to use my camera and how I've used it and how I take the shots I've taken. In the summer of 2021, I started to take pictures of things around me and started experimenting. I would ask my mom some basic questions and sometimes we'd go on walks and we'd take the pictures of the same things then we'd compare how and why we took the pictures of the way we did. I started to learn about what to focus on and I started to learn how to tell a story in a single picture. I started by using a simple little Canyon Pocket SLR and the camera on my phone. It was a good way to start because the equipment was familiar to me and it wasn't intimidating. It wasn't until I chose to do my capstone project on photography that I began to use my mother's old professional photography equipment. There's a lot to learn about this equipment as it involved using different lenses and a lot more options on the camera. So during the capstone project, I've been using this camera and I've also been using, wait, come with me. I've been using this, which is another lens that basically is like, yeah, 70 to 200 millimeter focus. So this is an early uh, generation Canon D30, uh, D30. It's very heavy, but it's comfortable to use. You can see a small screen when you're shooting. The back of the camera has a large screen that can be used instead of the viewfinder or the scroll through the picture after you take it. You can delete any picture off the camera by pushing the garbage can. The f-stops or aperture and shutter speed I think are the hardest thing to learn about photography and I made a lot of mistakes while having been learning about them with my mentor and my mother. The good thing about digital photography is though that you can see your mistakes and instantly correct them by changing either f-stop or the aperture um, or both. The aperture is something that controls how much light is let into the lens when you're taking the picture. Shutter speed is the amount of time the camera is exposed to light when the camera shutter is open. I feel a bit lost and I really didn't know that much about it before the Capstone product, uh, project. So then basically I had to learn all about it in a really short amount of time with my mentor. And I had to learn years, years worth of work in like two months. So now I'm going to talk about what the day in the life of a photographer really looks like. I learned a lot about my, uh, with my mentor and my mom. They talked about um, what, what it was like being a photographer uh, for so many years and what does the day in the life look like. With me, my day in the life is I just bring my camera everywhere with me and I just take photos of things that I think are cool. I'll just always like have my camera there. So that my day in the life is really just normal, but like, I really just have, have this camera with me, but I really asked my mentor about what was what what his day in the life was, and it was very different from mine because he des designates his days to taking photos, like going somewhere, say Mud Bay, he'd go there a lot, and he shoots like eagles and wildlife. He really designates and puts a lot of time in to his camera, his shutter speed, everything like that. He wants it to be perfect because he does this, this is his job. But I think just like, photography is just a really normal thing that a lot of people do. Not everybody can be good at photography. You have to have an eye, you have to take a bunch of photos that you believe that are good. I believe that there's different point of views in photography. People can go for more natural shots or people go for like, aesthetics or something like that. There's a lot of different types of photography and a lot of different types of point of view. Whatever you, photo you choose to take, or whether like other people like it or not, I believe that it's all on you. I think if you believe that that picture is beautiful, I think that you can, you can deem it as beautiful. So I believe uh, photography takes a lot of inspiration from other people. I got a lot of inspiration from my mom, from my mentor, my friend who does videography and like she's just really good at it. It just really gave me inspiration. I'm like, oh, I'm like trying to be like these people. But I've always had photography in my life and I've always loved it. 
but it just took some inspiration for me to bring it like into my life and always have it with me. I really took a lot of inspiration from other people to get into this project and I'm happy that I did do this project because I learned a lot about photography and I learned a lot about just myself. It's a really good hobby to have and I love it. During my capstone project, you know, I took a lot of photos before, but I just wanted to add these photos. This is during when I went to Victoria. This is on the digital little pocket camera. I took that. Um, as you can see, like, the quality is, like, really good on that. Because I love taking nature shots, the same as my mom and my mentor. Beginning this project, though, I took a lot of headshots of people. You know, you could see, like, my friend, my sister, my friend's sister, um, yeah, my friend, um, my dogs. So I think the nature shots, I, like, I don't know, like, amplified it more when I was with this camera. This is my dog who's in that photo right there. I hope I answered all you guys' questions with the day in the life of a photographer, what it looks like. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I want to thank the cameraman. I want to thank my mentor, my mom, and all my inspirations for taking this project on. Everybody who helped me, um, yeah.